I just read this very interesting article about the 25 over 5 rule and why it's so important for emotionally intelligent people, and I thought I'd share it. So this rule effectively comes down to writing a list of 25 top things you need to do and circling the top five. Why would you do this? Well, what you're gonna do is you're gonna avoid six through 25. So you're just gonna work on those top five things. And then when you finish those top five things, you might refresh the list and then work on the top five things. This is gonna help you find focus, which I can definitely appreciate. I would say the other thing, and they do bring this up in the article, 25 and five don't have to be rigid numbers. So you just need to write down things that you need to do and you know what those top things are and why aren't you working on just those top things? A great mindset shift that I've just implemented in my life and I find very impactful is the thing you are thinking about doing, would you want to do it after 12 or 16 hours of hard work? Whatever a hard working day is for you, would you feel like doing it after that? If the answer is yes, it's probably one of those top five things on your list and you should probably do it. If it's not, why are you focusing on it? That was a crazy mindset shift and I'm seeing it all over. You need to figure out your procrastination style and start to work on having the awareness to catch yourself when you're doing it. Having a list like this is an interesting way to do it. I don't know if I would exactly do this. I would more prefer to just do tasks now. And if there's longer term things that need to be focused on, maybe put those on a list. But the tactical things need to be done every day. Just go do the thing. Instead of writing it down, just go do it. You'll feel better afterwards too. Especially if the thing is rather menial, where it's like, oh, I could write this down, or it would have taken only twice as much time to just do the thing. Just do the thing. Just, just stop. Stop fretting, stop overthinking. The main thing to get across in this video is you should have a bias for action. So don't sit, overthink, fret about things. I know we, we as engineers, very easy for us to just sit there and overthink things. I don't want you to become an overthinker, even worse than you currently are. Have a bias for action and start taking some tangible steps to move the needle forward for your life today. I trust you've been paying attention to this emotional intelligence video thus far. I want to help you pay even better attention to your emotional and social intelligence by clicking the link below this video and scheduling a free call with me. On the call, we'll come up with a personalized plan for you to start getting bigger raises, faster promotions, and stronger relationships with everyone around you. Don't delay. Click that link below and schedule a call with me today.